Welcome wizards to part 3 of unit 1 on creative lettering. Let's talk about inking. Trace over the lines and fill in the black areas with your pen to avoid smudging your pencil lines. Tip a piece of paper or plastic over the area that you are not working on. This way your hand will rest on the cover sheets instead of the drawing itself. Once you've got everything filled in, let it completely dry before fixing anything. If you're using Bristol board, don't use correction fluid to fix mistake. It isn't quite white, so a correction fluid will stand out against it. And even if you are using white paper, use a white gel pen that will dry flat, which is better than a correction fluid that will often dry lumpy. This hand lettered piece in your screen includes an illustration of a skull and arrows at the center and the focal point. The skull is incorporated really nicely and the curves of the lettering mimics the curves of the skull. The inclusion of the words through hell in the skull adds in a nice contrast and breaks up the composition. Elaborate and intricate curls connect the flowing letters to one another in this piece. This acts to unify everything into a singular, unified composition. The heavier weight of the letters allows the phrase to stand out and not to be too overwhelmed by the curls, yet it isn't so heavy that they feel disconnected. The invitation poster on your screen takes hand lettering over the top. It looks incredibly vintage and old-fashioned or old-timey, and that's not only because of the color palette, but because each element has been hand-drawn. If you look closely, each letter form differs slightly from the next, and that gives this piece a wonderfully traditional and handcrafted feel. This next piece is a unique approach to hand lettering. Actual bubblegum was used to create this image and was carefully stretched and pulled to create a perfect look. Getting hands on with this project really put it over the top and it stand out against more traditional attempts. This music poster is very detailed and elaborate. The text itself is intricate, deliberate and classic, while the pairing of the flower photography is fresh, elegant and luxurious. The placement of the text feels nearly perfect, almost as if the flowers had the letters breathing through them. And notice the leaf-like details in the letters 